someone reach out. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, but she sent me a letter, which um, made my whole life <laughs> and is now framed. Ramin bought me a beautiful frame and um, for my dressing room. And it, I, it, it's my most prized possession now. It's the most beautiful, touching thing. And I thought about what she said tonight. And um, I just, I couldn't admire her more if I tried. It was so special. My siblings and my nephews flew out from LA to be here. And this has been my dream for my whole life. So to have my family get to be here was like, Ugh, makes me emotional. What'd Jonah say about it? I haven't seen him. Oh. I talked to you before I talked to him. I just came downstairs. Oh. So I don't know yet. General, but to be Penny Bryce and Penny Bryce. I don't know, I'll never have a night like this again in my life. Fanny Bryce's story is something that no matter what gender you are, no matter how you identify yourself in this modern world, there is an inspirational story there that we can all take, we can all uh, be inspired by and grow from. You know, Fanny Bryce made her own molds. She didn't, if you dream it, you've seen it. And that's what she did. And that's something like, whether you're in the arts, whether you're whatever you do in life, this is something you can be inspired by and take on board. And it's the authenticity of that. And I think that's what I loved about, that was my conduit to Nicky Arnstein, that it's something he wanted, with all the facade, all the money, all the contacts, you can't fake authenticity. And that's what he found in Fanny Bryce. And I found that very endearing. Uh, this is musical played in my house growing up. My mother and I bonded on this particular musical. We loved it, and uh, you know it hasn't been on Broadway in, like you said, 58 years. So, to be playing Mrs. Bryce 58 years later is a preposterous fantasy come true. Uh -huh. I can't believe it's real. And I don't have butterflies because I, I think I've seen Beanie four times and I think everyone's gonna be really happy. I think she's gonna make some people so happy. I'm excited for her, it's her dream. I mean I I couldn't be prouder. I, I just couldn't be prouder. I sound like ridiculous, but it's true. <laughs> well, Miss Jane Lynch, I'm so excited to see her on this stage. I'm excited to see Beanie Feldstein. Um, you know, I enjoy seeing a Jewish gal of a certain size on any stage, so I'm thrilled, I'm so excited. And that's, I mean, what a massive thing to step into. I'm wildly impressed. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like life, it all happens at once, but we're ready. His use of, this is a little um, inside baseball, if you will, but his use of motifs, like in this show, Nicky Arnstein, Nicky Arnstein, really influenced how I structured uh, musicals. This this show and Gypsy and how he structured his scores were extremely influential on me. This is one of my favorite shows. I've been looking forward to seeing it again for a long time. So. How important was this show to you growing up? Huge. I mean, I watched the movie my entire childhood. You know, it's kind of in my blood, part of my DNA. Great time tonight. Thank you. And she's done that. I think she's so incredible. So, yeah. And just being here for an opening. Thank you. Did you two win the Titanic together? 